All right, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of 9 to 4 Fishing. I am your host, Alex. This is a Deeper Pro Plus. We are going to throw it out. I've been at this pond before, but I haven't been here in probably three or four months and a hurricane went through. So I'm gonna throw the deeper out and see what it looks like underwater, see if anything has changed. If not, hopefully I still know what to throw. If it has, I'll know what to throw instead. So let's figure it out. All right, so I'm not too concerned about showing you guys the actual screen here because I'm gonna throw it up probably right here. Um, Cause the iPhone can now record screen. So that's pretty exciting. Um, Drop-off point doesn't really seem to have changed much. You can see the GoPro in the background there. Uh, let's see here. You can see the vegetation. That's good. And it should get a lot heavier right here. Yep, perfect. All right, so that doesn't seem to have changed that much. I'm gonna cast it out more towards the center and see what I'm looking at here. For those of you that have asked what I throw this on, it's just a straight rod, it's a medium heavy. Uh, I want to say it's like uh, six foot or six two, and this is 12 pound mono, so uh, nothing crazy, nothing really heavy duty. Whoa, major mark. Oh my God, look at that. Right off the bank there. That is, that's a big mark. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna try to catch that, so I'm postponing this. I'm gonna try to get that right now. So he's probably traveling up along and down the bank. Uh, that's typically what bass do this kind of time of year. So that's why it's good to um, cast parallel to the bank and uh, just reel in with a nice steady retrieval. Swim baits is kind of this time of year really doing it. So. Oh my God, there's that mark. Oh my God, that's the mark. Right there, that was the mark. That was the fish that I was marking on the deeper. We're gonna try to get him again. Well, the fish that the deeper marked was there. I just couldn't uh, couldn't set the hook well enough, so it got away. But hopefully, we'll be able to do the same thing, casting up and down the banks here, and uh, hopefully catch another one. I'm gonna switch spots, go to a part of the lake where I know there's fish. All right, so a couple things come to mind when I was looking at this before that you guys might not have been looking at. I know the depth right here, it's about 11 foot, so I know what kind of retrieval to use and how fast I should do it and what kind of weight I should use to target the right area in the water column where I'm marking fish, as well as the temperature of the water. It's 69 degrees on top of the water, so I know that it's probably two or three degrees lower than that throughout the rest of the water column, so I know it's at least higher than 65, which means the water's a little warmed up from the day. The fish should be active and I should be able to start marking them going along the bank here. I can see it kind of coming up slowly. And I should see, there's the weed. So right now I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna look. Look, I'm even marking a little bit of fish there. So I know the weed bank is right there. And I can read that, reel that the rest of the way in. And then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cast parallel to the bank to see where it dips in and out. So I know where I need to avoid and where I need to target. I can't seem to find the fish. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of 904 Fishing. I am sitting here editing this and I realized that I did not do an outro, so this is now my outro. If you guys like the style of video where I throw up the picture of the deeper on the screen, you guys kind of like how I explained it, what I was seeing and whatnot, let me know. I'll keep doing that in the future. If you like this video a lot, give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends about it. I want this channel to grow and so do you so I can make videos more often. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.